beauties, it's Nikea here with another video for you all. As you know, Valentine's Day is coming up, so I'm here with the makeup look and inspiration for Valentine's Day. So I've already done one that was, you know, quick, simple, easy, little sexy red lip situation. So go and check that out. But say I'm gonna give you a nice bubbly pink cutesy situation. Cause you know, pink and red are the colors of Valentine's Day. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, just take one quick second, go down below and click that subscribe button. And once you do that, that bell notification button's gonna pop up. Click that so that you never miss and upload. Join the club. <laughs> Alright y'all, let's get into it. So my foundation routine, y'all should be familiar with. I've done it plenty of times. But you know, for the sake of newness, here we go again. You know, but for the sake of newness, we are going to, uh, I'm gonna show you these steps quickly. Usually I would prime my face and then set it with my translucent powder, but I'm not leaving the house today. Just recording this video. So yeah, <laughs> why use product that I don't need? And these foundations are from BH Cosmetics. They're really good foundations, I like them. I just bought them online, so the colors don't match. Well actually I did have one that matched. I bought three of them, but I used that one up. And then I was like, I don't wanna waste these. So here we go, mixing. And although, you know, I'm not going anywhere, my skin is moisturized and sun protected. Oops. I'm gonna spray some of my skin mist. All right, we have a smooth canvas. I am going to color correct because these dark circles are coming through strong on today. Ooh. So I'm just using a red based concealer to color correct. Well, this is actually a foundation, but same difference. It's nice and thick. All right, do I need to correct around my mouth just a little bit? All right. So I have that correcting concealer and now I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge to blend those, to blend that out. You know what y'all, 2020 is lit cause these holidays falling on a Friday, like Valentine's Day on a Friday, what? And it just so happens that me and my husband scheduled date night is on that Friday. We have date night every two weeks, you know, intentional date night, right? A little day of love, inspiration, makeup for y'all. Now I'm gonna take my highlighting concealer. This is Fawn from LA Girl. You know, we always let our concealer sit, allow it to like dry down, gives you more coverage, okay? So while that is doing its business, I am going to fill in my eyebrows. All right, brows are on. Now it's time to blend out our concealer. And remember when you're doing your under eye concealer, you can beat the outskirt. When you go underneath the eye, you just want to tap, 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 light tap. Because you don't want to remove all that product. Because you know with the sponge product does get picked up, you know, it's unavoidable. All right, time to set under the eyes. Don't want them to crease, even though I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh. And you know what, y'all? <clears throat> Valentine's Day, I used to like, you know, I never was down on it. I was, there was a point where I was down on Valentine's Day. I, I used to be down on Valentine's Day, but then I, before Valentine's Day was a thing, I had Valentine's Day with some friends, but I had Valentine's Day with my friends Tiffany and Jasmine. Neither one of us had boyfriends, so we all, like we went to the movies together, we went out to dinner, cause I was like, y'all, you know what? Just because we don't have a man don't mean we can't celebrate the day of love, you know? And we were all in our early 20s at the time. And then I think after that, I had a Valentine because I had a boyfriend. And then even when I didn't have Valentine's Day, I still celebrated. Like, you know, I wasn't like down on love or anything. And if I was, I wouldn't try to like hate on anybody else's love. <laughs> and oh, y'all, I took my banana setting powder and the honeymoon powder from Black Radiance and I mix those together. I do a soft set that's more my complexion so that way my highlight isn't like too crazy and then I'll go back with just the banana powder to kind of do a little soft bake. But yeah, I wasn't, I never tried to be too down on love. And then even when I did have a boyfriend, like I think a couple years ago, um, yeah, I was dating EJ of course and David was dating Jasmine and we me and EJ had already decided like we're not gonna celebrate Valentine's Day we're not gonna do anything I was like cool you know not spending any money and then Jazz and I 
decided to have a Galentine's Day on actual Valentine's Day. And we got each other gifts and we just like hung out and watched a show that we liked. It was kind of weird because like we were just starting to be friends. It was weird, but yeah, now we could probably do it with no problem. I think uh, Valentine's Day is not just about like your significant other. I really think it's like about a day of love. So whether that's with a family member, a friend, your pet, like whoever you want to spend that day with, you love then i think that's great i really think the focus is shifting just from like significant others and partners you know if you have an f buddy if that person makes you happy and you want to spend that that day with them then hey who are we to say you can't you know there's no rules on valentine's day it's really just about a day of love for me in my opinion i don't know what it started out as you know it's probably some patron saint of some religion or something but of course, Americans have commercialized it, which is what we do best. All right, y'all, bring you in close. The foundation is done. The only thing I have to do is like bronzer and blush. So today's look is gonna be pink face. And I think I'm gonna use the Jackie Ina palette. So I have done a pink look before with Jackie's palette. I just haven't recorded it. So let's get into this. Cause y'all know Jackie loves pink looks. So of course, you know, her palette had to be full of some really good pinks for for the brown girls. All right, I'm gonna go into Supreme up here. I just love a dome shape blending brush for my transition area. Yes, this is gonna be my transition. So I'm gonna stamp that on. And take a fluffier blending brush like so. And I'm going to go into Pinker, which is right next to Supreme. It's a little bit darker, a little bit of purple in it, I think. And I'm gonna put that on the outer V and sweep into the crease. And I like losing, using, I like using this fluffy brush cause I want it so like just precise and concentrated. I want it a little more loose and out of control. See, it's giving you a little purple vibes. So I'm not just going all pink here, okay? Giving you some dimension, color variants. But yeah, I was talking about Valentine's Day and I just wanted to say like, don't be down on Valentine's Day, you all. If you don't have a partner or a significant other, you can spend it as a day of self-love. If you wanna sit in the house with a tub of ice cream and a, a bottle of wine and binge on some Netflix, then shoot, do that. If you don't wanna celebrate it at all, do that. But I just say, just don't be down on how people wanna celebrate the holiday. Let people, let people express themselves and do as they wish, how they wish without you trying to come down on them, okay? We got enough problems in the world then having to deal with other people hating on how people celebrate and express themselves and share posts on social media. Like, come on y'all. So now I'm gonna take Big Wig, which is this matte purple here. And I'm taking this fluffy blending brush. It's way fluffier. Way more fluffy. And I'm just gonna put that in the outer. See, I'm not going all the way pink on y'all. I'm not going ham on the pink. And I'm taking this large shader brush and I'm gonna go into Wigglease, which is actually an orange color but it does give me a little bit of pink and i'm gonna put that right here just in that front third or two thirds of the lid all right i'm going back with that same brush that i use for big wig and then blend that together i need to put a little big wig over there because i kind of wiped it off who would have thought that you could put like a a purple and an orange next to each other on your lid and a little bit of pinker just to add that pink back, y'all, y'all, y'all. And I think I've seen Jackie do this before. I'm taking that large shader brush, the other side. I'm gonna go into Shookington, and I'm just gonna put that like right where Big Wig and Big Elise meet. Just for a little like pop of something. Ooh, yeah, yes. See, this one turned to a, a purple look now. <laughs> And Jackie's palette did it, y'all. She did it. All right, of course I gotta take some of these colors down on my waterline. All right, so I'm actually gonna go in reverse order. Or actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna take Pinker and Supreme and put those on my lower lash line. I might do Big Wig too, because who love, who doesn't love a purple? Sorry, I might just do Pinker, because Pinker is giving me that purple. I accidentally put a little bit of my brush in Big Wig, so it's like some mix in there a little bit. And now take Supreme. This is a moment. This is a moment. 
right, let's finish up the eyes really quick before I finish up the face. I'm gonna take this detail brush and I'm going to go into Soleil and use that as an inner corner tear duct highlight. I am gonna sweep a little bit of that up to meet Wigglies to get a nice little blend up there. Soleil and Wigglies mixed together look so good, so good. So good, so good, so good. All right, taking my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. We are going to contour. Cause my face is looking real flat right now, okay? All right, get some of that. And then just comb. Well, not really contour bronze, but use it as a contour. I'm just taking the excess that may be on the brush and adding that to the nose, a little dimension there. All right, let me go ahead and prep my lashes. I'm using some Wispies. These are the same ones I used in the last video. So I'm not gonna line it. Just gonna put some mascara on. All right, so I'm gonna use my Coastal Scents blush palette and I'm gonna use these three colors. I'm gonna use Bravado, Bravado, Rosebud, and Valentine. Gotta use Valentine. All right, just get a little bit of all three. You know, just pounce those around like this. That's how you mix. <laughs> and just get some color on the cheek. And I like to take my blush up to my temple. I don't know why I started doing that, but I do. I like it. And then I'm actually gonna use some highlight today. And I'm going to take Radiant from the It's My Ray Ray palette. There's some in there. I know it hit pan, it's super pan. And I'm just gonna highlight my cheeks and my nose. We'll do a little bit on the forehead. Ooh, these lashes are everything. Y'all, these lashes are per I love these. These are about to be like my everyday lash. <laughs> I just love these. He said it so I didn't have to. Like, look, they're like nice and full and they give you drama, but they're not too much. Cause I have some lashes that are too much. You know, it can be too much. Alright, so for a lip, Valentine's Day, duh. So we're gonna go pink. So I'm just gonna use my brown liner and just go light with it. This is Blue Rose from NYC. And I like it cause it's pink with some blue undertones. And I think that's gonna play well with like the purple and orange on the lip. See, look, it looks kind of purple. I don't even know if they sell this brand at Walmart anymore. Oh, this is an NYC gloss. I'm just gonna put it on top for a little sheen. It's probably called magenta, I don't know. I've been loving a glossy lip. Usually a matte girl, but here we are with gloss. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is it for today's look. A nice, cute, pink, you know, flirty Valentine's Day look. Maybe you'll find a boo on Valentine's Day <laughs> with this one. I didn't know it was gonna go this way. I thought it was gonna be more pink, but I like it. And thank you all so much for watching. And remember what I said about Valentine's Day. Let's not be down on anybody's love. Celebrate how you wanna celebrate with whomever you love. Okay, and before you go, make sure you go down below and click that subscribe button. And right next to that, click that bell notification button so that you never miss when I post. Like I always say, it's free, it's easy, and it's fun. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.